Hello guys, we will install Windows Internet of Things on Raspberry Pi 3. It will not be the same Windows on your desktop computer. It will be an environment for you that allows you to deploy applications to your Raspberry Pi. Enough saying, let's get started. Make sure to check the description for the used applications and components in this video. Well, for the components we need, uh, here I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. If you have Raspberry Pi 2 Model B, that will be fine. An SD card of at least 16 gigs, um, SD card reader, and a PC running Windows 10. There is a hardware compatibility list for the parts and devices that work fine with Windows IoT. Feel free to check the URL. If you navigate to the storage section, there is a recommended SD cards. If you have one of them, you can proceed with an installation using IoT dashboard. Go to the link displayed now on the screen. And download the Windows 10 IoT dashboard. Run the setup.exe. And from there, you can choose the device type Raspberry Pi 2 and the device um, which is the SD card you are using and you accept the software license terms then you click download and install the program will download uh, the software and will flush it into your SD card eject the SD card and insert it into the Raspberry Pi and boot after that you will continue installing but uh, if you don't have one of the recommended SD card, in this case, you will install it using Noose. First, you must join the Windows Insider program that uh, will allow you to download and install the operating system. After that, insert the SD card into your PC and format it using the SD formatter. After that, go to raspberrypi.com slash download slash noobs. You will find the noobs lite version. Download the zip file. Here is the file. Extract it using the 7-zip. And then copy all the files to the SD card. Last step to eject the SD card and insert it to the Raspberry Pi and start booting. Make sure you connected the Ethernet cable. The Raspberry Pi will boot. And you will find in the list Windows 10 Internet of Things. Make sure you choose the you change the language and the keyboard layout to your uh, language and uh, keyboard layout click install and the installation begins after a while you will be directed to a page that you can log in with your Microsoft account enter your password and then you sign in since you are joined the insider program you will be, you will be directed to a page that you can select the edition windows 10 internet of things and the device you will choose the raspberry pi and then click confirm it will validate your request and after a few seconds you can press the download now button the installation will take some time, depend on your internet speed. I'll be back after the installation is finished. Now the operating system is installed successfully. The Raspberry Pi will reboot into Windows now.
Here is the Windows logo. Few seconds later, you will find like "Welcome to the Windows 10 Internet of Things Core." To complete the installation, you will be directed to um, a page that you can choose the language. Then press next. And here is what uh, we can call it as a desktop. You will find um, a device info, uh, including the device name, the network, the IP address, the operating system version, and also the connected devices uh, to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Also, you, you will find the network information. There is not so much info. Uh, for the tutorials, you will find some tutorials you can, you can start with. The setting. Uh, there is some basic preferences for the language and the Wi-Fi um, the net and uh, some setting for the network and Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth uh, Now let's get back to the Windows machine and open the IoT dashboard Okay, you will find my devices on the left and here is a list of the connected devices if you choose like um, setting here is the name here is the type here is the IP address and here is the edit for the setting and also at the end the operating system version let's try edit the pass uh, the device name is mini one BC um, user uh, name the administrator we get to change the Password. The old password is password, uh, add sign, and zero. Like P, add sign, S S W O R D. Let's have a new one. Apply. And now the password is changed successfully. Let's go back to my devices and open in. Let's open the device portal. Okay. The new password. Login. Here is the home of the Raspberry Pi. Here also you can change the device name, the password, and the time zone. Let the display for the screen resolution and orientation. Here is on the apps. You can find. Uh, a list of apps that are already deployed to the Raspberry Pi. Here is a, a small triangle. If you press this triangle, uh, it will uh, start the application on the Raspberry Pi. And here is if you want it to be at the default application. The default application will be started uh, after the Raspberry Pi boots. And if you want to delete the application, Apps File Explorer. The processes now. This is the processes on the Raspberry Pi, and here is for the performance the CPU, the CPU performance, the memory, and the GB, the GPU, the input output. And here is the <coughs> in this tab, you will see the connected devices, also a tab for the Bluetooth for the audio networking and this one is for the Windows update onboarding and the last one there is uh, Windows IoT remote server when enable the Windows IoT remote so server, you can connect. Active. Now you can access your Raspberry Pi from uh, the Windows PC and see what is happening. Like if we go to the apps, let's have the Windows side by side, this one and this one. And if you run the Blinky app, it will start on the Raspberry Pi like this. you stop okay 
and now to start coding you will and uh, you will find a lot of uh, resources and tools uh, first you will need to have the visual studio community edition you can download it from here and also for the develop link you will find a lot of documentation and samples you can start with if you like the video please uh, hit the like button if you do like tell me in the comment below thanks bye bye